This is James Wise with Holton Wise, and today we're going to talk about Tennis from Hell. If you haven't been following our stuff on Tennis from Hell, please do so. Subscribe to this channel now. We have seen some of the wildest things you could ever imagine when it comes to real estate investing. From poop on the walls, to somebody trying to burn down my house, to our story today, which is going to involve suicide and squatters. Let's dive in. All right, so this is a weird story. The real estate business, you know, I've said it many, many times, it's not all sunshine and it's not all rainbows. It could be a very tough business. And, and this is one of the wilder stories that I've ever encountered. So this is a property John and I own. It's a duplex, it's in the old Brooklyn neighborhood. We took this thing over and we had two older gentlemen live in there. And you know, they were pretty decent tenants for like three years, we never really heard from them. Everything was great till one day we get a call from the guy downstairs Blood is rip, literally dripping through his ceiling when he got home. Turns out the guy upstairs uh, decided to commit suicide. He killed himself. He did this on his bed. So, you know, all the nastiness is on his bed, okay? So we contact his family. And the way Holton Wise typically does this kind of stuff when there's a suicide, uh, we usually just give the family the keys and say, hey, you know, take a week, two weeks, whatever you need. Get all the stuff out of there and just go ahead and give us the keys back, right? Two weeks passes by, they don't bring the keys back. We're calling, calling, calling. Hey, what the heck, what the heck? Long story short, the guy's uh, girlfriend decided to, she wasn't even a live-in girlfriend either, um, but he had a girlfriend, mistress, what have you. She decided to move into the property, not tell us, not pay us any rent, of course. So now we got this woman squatting in this property where this guy died. So we got to go through the whole eviction process, yada, yada, yada. Fast forward about six to eight weeks, we get the rent, we get the guy, you know, he's out of there. So we send our crew in to secure the property, and there it is, man, the bed where this guy killed himself, it's just sitting there, and there's, there's blood, there's brain spatter, everything you can imagine from when a guy shoots himself in the head is there. This woman literally moved in there and slept in this bed with blood and brain matter from a suicide for eight weeks. That was one of the darker things I've ever had to deal with in this industry. You know, it's tough, guys. Uh, I love real estate. I love real estate investing. It has made me a very wealthy guy. Um, it has really changed my life. But to say that it's all good, it's all sunshine and rainbows, that's just not the case, man. Sometimes it gets rough. It gets tough. You know, check out one of my other videos. I talked about how a tenant tried to burn down my personal house. Today, if you were to look up my name, James Wise, you wouldn't even find, you, you'll, you'll find a bunch of properties, but none of them are actually the one that I live in because we had to take that precaution. Because, you know, when you're a, a landlord of as many prop tenants as we are, you know, you become a lightning rod. You know, we're always on the radio, TV, the internet. People know who we are. They make poor life decisions and sometimes they scapegoat the landlord. So it can be rough, it can be tough. That's it for today's Tenant From Hell story. I'd like to hear from you now. I know you guys have stories out there. I know there's tons of landlords watching this video that have gone through similar stories or maybe even worse stories. Please, we would love to hear those. Go ahead and post those stories in the comment section below. On top of that, make sure you guys are following me on my Instagram. I update that account even more than we do this YouTube channel. So even more frequently than the videos are going to come out, you're going to see some tenant from hell or just other real estate related content that I pump out. I show the good, the bad, the ugly on that Instagram. It's at JamesWiseHWPG. Really gives you an inside look into my life as a full-time investor, broker, and entrepreneur. Again, I can't stress it enough. Subscribe to this channel, pound the like button, and share this video with at least one other investor who's gonna find some type of value watching this content. The Holton Wise channel, it's all about providing investors, landlords, any and everybody interested in the real estate investment space with tips, tricks, education, we show you the good, we show you the bad. On top of that, we provide you with some of the most profitable investment properties in the entire country. We send out one property every single day on our daily email. So if you're not subscribed to that email list, I'm gonna drop a link to do so in the comments below. As always, James Wise, Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.